Hello everybody, I'm Television Caden, and today, we're doing something a little bit different. We're doing a theory on the Phantom. What are they? What is the Phantom? Well, what we know so far of the Phantom is that it only appears if you haven't slept. But why is that? Why can Phantom membranes be used to fix any elytra? In this video, I will be answering all of those questions. So, phantoms used to spawn in the end dimension when they were first added. This may have something to do with why the, the phantom membranes are able to fix elytras. In real life, bats have a certain membrane in between their wings. It's this very clear thing that you can see through. So, maybe that's similar to a phantom membrane, right? I mean, it's also flexible, very good material for maybe fixing something that will help propel you through the air. But now, what's an elytra? So, an elytra in real life is basically just the cases of a beetle's wings. So now, what does that have to do with um, this theory. Well, if you think about it, there are no winged beetles in Minecraft. But if I say beetle and I say Minecraft in the same sentence, you'd probably think of the silverfish. And if you think of the silverfish in the end, it would most definitely be an endermite. And they are so annoying. But now back to the endermites. Why would they have wings, they don't. It's impossible for them to have wings. Well, maybe ancient um, endomites had wings, but because they didn't need them, they evolved on without them. And that brings me back to the phantom in the end. If you look at that very first phantom, it would be in the end. And it had a very similar color to an enderman or an endermite, except for the green glowing eyes. So maybe that was an earlier descendant of the endermite. But now, why are they afraid of cats? So why are the Minecraft phantoms afraid of cats? Well, if you've watched any other Minecraft theory video, you will know of something called the Ancient Builders, or the Ancient Civilization. This is basically just the idea that there had to be people before you, so they must have been the Ancient Builders, which must have created all of the other structures that you see. So now, why, why does that correlate to the phantoms being afraid of cats? Well, in real life, the ancient Egyptians who built the pyramids worshipped cats as gods. In Minecraft, you also see pyramids, and they were most probably based off of the ancient Egyptians. So, back to the phantoms. Well, the phantoms do attack mobs specifically the player, but they do attack. Maybe the ancient builders saw this potential to have like a god of some sort, like a living iron golem that isn't a machine. So they befriended this mob. So they befriended the phantom to protect them, but they, but they also worshipped cats mean that they wouldn't want anything to happen to their precious little kitties. So maybe they may have trained the phantoms to not attack cats? Is that possible? One of the things that a cat um, gives to the player if they've been sleeping is a phantom membrane, which means that the cats attack the phantoms. So why do the phantoms not attack the cats? Well. If you watched other videos, not on this channel, on other theory channels, but 
you may have seen that the ancient builders would have escaped to the end. This is also very big with the achievement free the end. More like they're under new management with the farms that I use. But the point is that the ancient builders may have escaped into the end dimension, leaving their phantoms in the world afraid and lost and probably scared. So they had to forget everything that the builders did that the builders taught them. Maybe they even vengeful of that. But the cat isn't vengeful to the player. And maybe the cat remembers how the phantoms acted after that and sees how the phantoms want to attack. And because it knows it will not attack the cat, they will go and willingly attack the phantom to protect the player. Well, how are the phantoms undead? They had to be alive in order for them to die, right? Well, I think I have the answer to that. Evokers. They can summon ghosts, bring up fangs from the underground. But most importantly, they can summon ghosts. This could mean that they can manipulate life, so they could bring back the dead. But unknowingly, they brought back the phantom, wanting the protection that the ancient builders had. But without knowing how vengeful they are for the player. So, let's revise on this theory, shall we? So, in this theory so far, we now know that the Endemite is probably just a descendant of the Phantom that came in the end. Now, that Phantom that came in the end evolved into the Endemite or into the current Phantom, depending on where they were at the time. And we can now use um, the Phantom membranes that they drop to fix our elytras because they used to be from the end. And that we can fix it because it is a rubbery and flexible substance. So now, the ancient builders wanting to have a guard didn't want this guard to attack their cats, training them to protect them and their cats. Now, with the ancient builders escaping to the end, they left their phantoms alone. The phantoms had to do what they could to survive. They forgot everything the builders taught them, except for one thing, do not attack the cats. They then died because of extinction. But the evokers, wanting that same power that the, that the ancient builders had, the protection, they brought them back to life. But without knowledge of what they had done, they created a monster. An undead monster that would forever haunt players. This monster is the Phantom. Thank you so much for watching. I put a lot of effort into this theory. It would mean a lot if you could subscribe and like this video. Be sure to leave a comment on what command block creation I should do or another theory video.